Hi, this is James from Mission, and today we're connecting up an SP1L6 expression pedal to the Line 6 Helix Rack. All right, let's go. Okay, so here's our Helix control unit, and on the back panel we can see here's our power switch. Here's our DC in, which we don't need because we're powering this directly from the Helix Rack, which is connected via this connection here. And then we have our expression pedal inputs over here. They're labeled uh, expression one, expression two, and expression three. So that means we can connect up to three pedals at once. And then there's also a connection here, which is for the expression toe switch. So let's look at how to connect it up to the pedal. Okay, here we are connected up. I've just connected output one on the SP1L6 to expression one on the Helix control unit and then I've connected output two, which is the switch output, and that's connected to the expression toe switch here on the Helix control unit. That's pretty much all you need to do for connecting one expression pedal. Now if I wanted to use these additional two and three, I don't have an additional toe switch connection on here, so I could either use another two of these and I could just leave the toe switch unconnected, just connect this output to two and three, and then I could use three of these, or I could use one of these with the toe switch and then two standard EP1L6s that don't have the toe switch in. If I really need another toe switch, there's actually one on the back of the Helix rack unit itself, so I could connect an expression pedal to the rack unit as well as to the control unit, and that would allow me to use two expression pedals with toe switches. All right, let's switch over to the rack unit and see how to get this programmed. Okay, here's the front panel of the Helix rack. Let's get the expression pedal set up to control a few functions. Like most things with the Helix, it's very intuitive and easy to configure. So let's set it up so that the expression pedal movement controls volume. So I'm going to use the joystick and move across to my volume control. I have a volume control already in this patch. And then I'm going to choose the curve that I want to have for the volume pedal. I can choose here between logarithmic and linear. I think we'll stick with logarithmic for this one. And then I'm going to press the preset menu button. And then this brings up my menu options. And I'm going to select controller assign down here. Now you remember we connected the expression pedal up to expression pedal 1 on the controller. So this is where I would choose it. You can see it's already set to expression pedal one, but I can set the volume control to various different expression pedals. So it could be expression pedal two or three, or if I have a Variax guitar, I can set it to the Variax volume control, for example. We're gonna leave it at expression pedal one for now. I can also learn the controller. So there's this little brain icon over here where it says learn controller. I love this icon, press that and the little brain lights up blue, and it says move or use the controller to learn. So I'm gonna move the pedal up and down. And we can see the brain icon goes out. It's now learned that as pedal one. So let's save that. So that's done, and we'll go back to the main menu. And we can see it's at 100% right now. Now as I move the pedal up and down, we should see it go between 0 at heel down and 100 at toe down. So let's do that now. There it goes. That's all there is to it. Okay, now let's configure the toe switch on the expression pedal to do something. Let's say that we want to configure it to turn the amp and cap sims on and off. So I'll toggle over to the amp and cap sims. Again, I'll press the preset menu button and that brings up the menu options below. And we'll select controller assign. And let's just do learn controller here. So I'm gonna press the learn controller button and the little blue brain lights up. I'm gonna press the button on the toe switch So that's learned now, and then we'll save that configuration, and that's done. Now when I hit the toe switch on the expression pedal, it will turn our amp and cap sims on and off. 
off, on, off, on. And my volume control should still be set to the expression pedal movement. So let's check that. And it's heel down, and now it's toe down. So that's still working. There we go. That's all there is to configuring the SP1L6 Helix with the Line 6 Helix rack.